as a person, she radiates like joy and lightness and happiness. And that's what hemorrhaging light is. Yeah, it's hilarious. It is because there's being confident in yourself and being like, yeah, I'm a cool person. People like me to then be like, I'm fucking joy. Just not even a joy. I am joy. I am what joy is and represents. I am that right now. You know, a person who says that they are the physical representation of joy, (laughs) nine times out of ten usually is not the person you want to be around at all. (laughs) I like the idea that we've interacted with (laughs) nine to ten people who have claimed to be the physical representation (laughs) of joy. What a crew. In one day, you're just walking down the street and you're like, man, what is going on today? (laughs) Turns out there was a gas leak over in New York City. It also turns out one of them really was a joy to be around. I just couldn't (laughs) stop being around them. I think that is cool to cry all the time. Be in touch with your feelings. Um, Maybe not all the time, but cry. Let it out. I want you Uh, to be a cool counselor going to school, sitting down in a chair backwards, being like, hey, kids, (laughs) I'm fucking cool with my leather jacket and my cigarette, right? Well, guess what? Guess how I got to be this cool? Because I'm you just fucking start break, crying all the break time. down in the middle of <laughs> And think about everything that's wrong to me and everything I've learned and just the poignant beauty of this universe, all right? And that's how... But you're super cool, right? You got a leather jacket like, shit fucking sucks, man. Mm-hmm. You're never going to get rid of me, fool. <laughs> fool. Great. Love fool. Yeah, we should use fool more. Fool is like, especially when you haven't, like, you're not expecting to get fool at a bar. Like, if yeah. if you're in a bar <laughs> fight and someone's like, yo, you fucking piece of shit, you fucking hitting on my girl, and you're like, are you a fool? <laughs> that They're going to walk away. I guarantee they're going to walk away from that fight. Yeah. The guy who says fool knows how to <laughs> put the beat down on. <laughs> Um, I think at this point on, we know that we're going to shoehorn in fool a lot during the rest of the podcast, just to get a little meta and, and show listeners a little bit behind the scenes. This is what goes on. And it is so funny to be like, maybe this guy with the stolen camera was going to make a masterpiece. Cause that would have been a surprise. Like imagine like Stanley Kubrick makes 2001 a space odyssey and they're like, well, Stanley, how did you uh, film that? You're like, oh man, I fucking stole a credit card. It's a (laughs) random dude in Burbank. And I just like bought myself a camera and then I made 2001 a space odyssey. You'd be like, wow, it was an unlikely origin story. It was pure coincidence that this guy had a $10 million credit card limit. I got to say it really worked in our favor. Put the whole thing on one card. (laughs) Uh, Bank of America calls like uh, uh, Mr. Um, uh, Mr. Flores we have some uh, unusual activity concerning your card did you um, fund a uh, 83 million dollar motion picture back in uh, <laughs> July <laughs> like, oh, me no <laughs> uh, can you what was the name of that motion picture <laughs> as if you can't remember <laughs> Like the name of the motion picture was uh, Star Wars: The Last Jedi. Does that sound familiar to you? You, you know, know what? That would be a great scam. <laughs> Instead of like going with like uh, Nigerian prince needs money, right? You call someone, or you're like your car's extended warranty, right? Like how many okay. fucking times have you got this phone call? Your car's extended warranty is up, right? The better scam is you call someone. You're like, hey. Your card was used to fund this Hollywood movie. You are (laughs) entitled to royalties from this movie because your card was was was, your credit card was stolen and used to pay for the movie. Uh, All we needed to verify is your card information, and we will give you the royalties to this movie. Great scam, (laughs) Lyric Boys. It's foolproof. It's foolproof. Oh man, look at this fool. (laughs) <laughs> the other alternative right which is not um a masterpiece is something sick and twisted mm. i feel like that's more likely than the masterpiece if we're thinking who's i don't know a random person who <laughs> steals credit card information uh, mr flores 
your card was used to fund this film. Uh, it was a snuff film. However, the royalties are quite a lot. <laughs> Would you like to claim them? Mr. Flores, uh, we have some concerning news regarding your credit card. You see, it was used for a camera that uh, films these two men in their late 20s on YouTube just riffing about music and lyrics. It's honestly the saddest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> and your credit card funded it's this sick. sick and twisted madness. <laughs> Are you happy with yourself? Well, I got to say, all I eat is bread and cheese. Pretty relatable. Pretty fucking relatable. Yeah. Is that really all you eat? Because I've eaten with you and I've seen you eat other stuff. Okay. You're going to do this now on air. You're going to call me on air. We're having an, (laughs) we're basically the lyric equivalent of Howard Stern. Okay. We're having a dust up. I'm calling you out. Yeah. We're having a dust up. (laughs) We're having a good old fashioned dust up. (laughs) All right. Well, right before this podcast, to get a window into my world, I had some mm-hmm. cheese with some crackers. Okay. So mm-hmm. I'm riding that high coming to this. I mean, if you think about relatable. it, a lot of food is bread and cheese, right? I had a turkey sandwich today with cheese Ooh, on it. That's bread, bread and, cheese, and cheese, baby. I had tacos earlier. Technically Ooh. another form of bread and cheese. Mm. Eventually, <laughs> this conversation is just going to go. <laughs> The most like the worst flakes. You're like, okay, I I um drove a yellow car. Looks uh, like cheese on on a on a highway. So the yellow car is like cheese, and the highway is like a a, a bun for the car, and that's basically uh, bread and cheese. <laughs> exactly. I do like the idea that like sometimes they make just random ass shit and be like, you think students are going to eat this? And they're like, I don't know. <laughs> Try They just it. Like, like to do it to make fun of the students. They're like, look at yeah. these fucking assholes. They'll eat whatever we put in front of them, these fucking sheep cattle. Because I think we talked ba- about it. They bat at us. <laughs> <laughs> you put, you ladle. <laughs> You ladle some of your soup into a bowl and the cook is just there smoking a cigarette going, bah, you fucking (laughs) sheep. (laughs) I think this is also, I think I've told the story on this podcast about the one time in in the dining hall, everything was banana themed. There was just one dinner (laughs) when everything was banana themed. So I think you, in like retrospect... We went to the same school, and I do not remember this at all. Because I lived in Miles Standish Hall sophomore year where things got weird, okay? Yeah, that was the weird one. <laughs> I do like the idea that, like, you're having a good time with someone in your room, and then suddenly you see second cousins kissing, and you're just like, what um, happened in this room, what we saw today, will never be spoken of, and we must end this friendship and never speak of what we saw here today. <laughs> That's what I like about this. Yeah, like the second cousins, we have no idea who they are. They're <laughs> I'm not sure that they're second cousins. They look similar enough to be second cousins, but our friendship cannot continue after having seen that kiss. Like it this is a turning point. It's My a- version is just staring at cars questioning am i a piece of shit looking at <laughs> drunk walking home questioning am i a piece of shit My mom in the yard wondering if her son is a piece of shit <laughs> your dad's favorite team too bad his son is a piece of shit <laughs> love when you're in it <laughs> even for a piece of shit It's going to break my heart to see it blown to bits. 